Justin, when you saw that schedule, just kind of take us through some of the first thoughts that came to your mind when you see some of those big name schools and some of those road trips on there. Um, I mean, first and foremost, I think it's a dream that every kid has growing up uh, to be able to play at places like that. Um, Duke, UCLA, Gonzaga, Mississippi State obviously stood out immediately. Um, and coach kept saying he had surprises for us. Um, and they got better every time. So it's something that we've all talked about has been a dream. Um, but it's also a blessing. And it's not um, it's not like a charity organization where we're going there just to play a basketball game. We're going to go to win. Uh, we're going to prepare like normal, like Coach said. Um, and at the end of the day, basketball is basketball. So we're just going to go and we're going to do our thing. Are you at the, have you talked to any of the former players who played in Cameron? Have you gotten to that where you asked them what that experience was like at all? I um, haven't talked to them recently, but Coach showed us a, um, a video from the 2011 team, um, and obviously many of them got to play in Cameron after they won the national championship. So um, Braden Hobbs has mentioned it to us a few times when he's been on campus working out within the past few years. Um, uh, coach said that whenever they were there, Nolan Smith actually stopped their bus and wanted to come in and congratulate them and, and tell them a good job. So we've heard a lot about it. I've never been, but um, hopefully we get a chance to go. Justin, you just mentioned that this isn't, you know, like a charity game in terms of playing some of these teams. Is that like almost like a chip on your shoulder mentality? Like you want a proval point with them, um, especially in this like first season? It is, yeah. Uh, we we definitely have a lot to prove, but. Um, where much is given, a lot is, is expected as well. Um, we've been given just about everything that we could ask for. So um, obviously we're going to prepare in the weight room, on the court, in the classroom. We're going to do what we have to do to get to that, to that moment. Um, and Coach always says, we are who we have. It's all about us and our, our team and staying within ourselves. So um, yeah, we're going to play like a, like a championship game every single game. Justin, how much does the reality of now being a Division One program kind of settle in when you look at a schedule like this? Um, aside <laughs> from from COVID and every irregularity that's going on right now, the schedule really um, kind of sets it in more than anything else, I'd say. Um, <clears throat> but but like I mentioned, we really aren't changing much at all, um, other than the schedule where we're playing. We we aren't changing the workouts. We're going to do what we normally do. Um, more than anything, it's just a better opportunity to showcase ourselves, to showcase the university, um, and just to continue to build our brand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dylan Pitt. Dylan, what was your reaction when you first saw the videos from Coach K? It was kind of a surreal moment, you know, when you're a kid, you watch UCLA, you watch Duke, you watch all these teams on TV, and now, like, he's directly addressing, like, your team, and it was just, it was just an amazing feeling. Dylan, what does it mean, you, you know, you're part of Bellman's first Division One basketball program, and you get the opportunity to compete in the A-Sun, and, like, to play some of those teams, those Power Five teams like Duke and Mississippi State, UCLA? Um, we want to set the bar high, you know, this program's always strive for excellence, you know, we're last, I don't know how many years they've been one of the most competitive Division Two teams in the country, and we expect to continue to be successful at the Division One level. Which game jumped off the schedule? Like, which one would you say at this point? Because you can say it, I mean, we're in August. Which um, one are you most excited for? It's kind of a toss-up between UCLA and Duke because, like, when I was a kid, I grew up, I was a North Carolina fan, so I've always dreamed of going to Duke and winning in Duke. Um, but then again, UCLA, it's like I, I've never been out to California, so I'm really excited to go out there and play. How much do you guys pay attention to what's happening with the pandemic and whether it's going to alter schedules as you go forward? Um, we can definitely keep an eye on it and we stay updated and we see stuff, but you know, we can't really control it. So you can't really dwell on anything that happens because, you know, last year our season ended in the blink of an eye. So we really, things are out of our control. All we can do is focus on what we can do in the classroom, what we can do on the court, in the weight room, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick together. Pedro Bradshaw.
Hey, what jumped out of you when you uh, saw the schedule revealed? Um, I was just extremely excited. We got some high caliber teams on our schedule, and um, I think it's just going to be an amazing experience for everybody just to go out there and get a chance to compete with some high level guys. What was your reaction when Coach sent you the Coach K video? Uh, it was it was really cool to see. Kind of like they said, like we see Coach K and Duke, you know, play on TVs, you know, since we were kids on up to now. So now that we have a chance to go there and play in Cameron Indoor and play against Duke and and play against Coach K, I think it's going to be a surreal feeling. You know, I think it's going to be, like I said, just a great experience overall. Pedro, the way last season you say abruptly ended, you know, how important is it to really kind of make a statement, especially in this you know year one with uh, being a Division One program? It's, it's important to us because, uh, you know, we got into the NCAA tournament and we were all kind of nervous about that. And then when we didn't get a chance to play, it, it really hurt all of us, but it really hurt us more so for our seniors who didn't get to play that last game, that true last game. So um, we just want to come out, kind of like these guys said, we just want to come out and compete every single day, uh, regardless of what's going to happen, because we obviously don't know what we don't know. <laughs> so um, we just got to compete. and. Uh, Try to get better each and every day, regardless. Okay. <clears throat> Got one more player. Alec Freem. Did I say that right? Yeah. <laughs> Alec, not Alex. Yeah, it's Alec. Alec, just, I mean, general thoughts on what it means to be a part of this program, now it's Division One, and, you know, you're going to you still get your money's worth year one playing Duke, UCLA, Mississippi State, a lot of quality uh, top five teams. Yeah, obviously it's really exciting seeing some of the teams on the schedule, but with everything going on, we're just more excited to play basketball. Just come in here every single day, work hard, obviously being sent home, quarantining, all you really think about is wanting to practice and just be with your guys every single day. Do you worry at all about the virus or getting infected or I mean, people are opting out, some are waiting until next year you're going to play? Um, no, obviously we like to stay really optimistic. Obviously being negative can't get you anywhere. Just focus every day, be positive, and look forward to today's challenges. Does seeing something like this help you with that optimism or in terms of something to look forward to or that that's the process of doing involved in some sort of yeah, obviously seeing like something concrete like that, seeing that there is a chance and seeing teams and knowing that we can play and we think we will play, is, it's obviously it's very exciting. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, uh,